What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, this is your other host, Chris. And like I said, hey, y'all, y'all on Get a Bucket. Chris, how's everything with you, bro? What's going on, boy? How are you? I am good, man. You know what I'm saying? Just having a good old grand time. It's good weather outside. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. But, hey, it... it that it could just be us too, because it, it, it's the show. It might just it, be the show. It might be the show. It could be the show. So, All right, and it's the wacky segment. Y'all know how this goes. We got to give y'all something entertaining to talk about, right? Just a little bit. So with that being said, I got to talk about FanDuel, because they didn't give me nothing. And these specific players are on my, well, terrible list. So we got to talk about... Draymond Green was, brother, you do way too much hemming and hawing out there to not hit FanDuel. I put six rebounds for you. You got three. Why are we worrying about a play in a game three minutes ago, but you can't get three more rebounds? You out there to defend four step, rebound four step, and pass the ball two step. Do your job. And it's okay because you're not just solo on the list. Chet Holmgren. I put you again for 15 points, and you disappointed me. As someone who I thought was going to be co-rookie of the year, bro, you turned out to be more of like a man-dark-like situation for me. That is crazy. Like, I'm, the fact that I now look at you as man-dark going forward into the playoffs is quite egregious from where I had you, buddy. I really had you quite high there. You were with Wimby. You really were. But it's all right, though, because Bam over there is in, is in your company, too. And it's tragic because I tried to tell my boy, yo, BAM does not stand for B-A-M-F. Y'all, y'all, y'all peep me. Maybe kids is watching, so I'm not trying to cuss too egregiously. But I will say this man is playing like pure ass, okay? I put him out for 15 also. You can't get the job done? That's tragic, bro. FanDuel, thank y'all. You, you, you got three good players to hoe me. I promise you, you did. Matter of fact, they did a really good job. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, 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 was, it was really tragic. And I'm really upset because that was a wonderful transition on into the next segment that I got to talk about, which is Grady Dick. Um, like, the jersey swaps. Yeah, we saw Anthony Blackwich for starters. Let's get this, let's get this on, 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 on way to. The fact that they did jersey swaps is hilarious, right? They, they have not earned that respect. They didn't play phenomenal games. But just seeing... Black Dick as a jersey swap. Like, that's crazy. I'm excited to see when they go to the Bulls and the Celtics. Shout out to Kobe and Derek. You know what I'm saying? Derek White and Kobe White. White Dick twice. I think that'll be <laughs> that'll be a little interesting. Um, the Suns, when he goes to see Nazir Little, Little Dick might be a little interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. there's a lot of iterations out there. Matter of fact, um, I'm hoping that this brother goes and gets drafted. Enoch Cheeks, right? Like, out of Dayton, that'll be a good little jersey swap right there. <laughs> like, you got so many wonderful things to talk about. And I got to say, too, the NBA really has to make a solid decision because what happens if this man actually starts snapping in the NBA? Like, Chris, imagine if, if he starts hitting, right? Dick is wet or hot from three. Like... Dick is really stroking it. Like, that is just going to, you know what I'm saying? Or my favorite, because he's athletic. Dick hammers it in. Like, that's just going to, like, I'm, I'm, that's, that's tough. I will say there is to, to make it at least somewhat serious. I am pulling for uh, Keelan Grady. I'm pulling for Ke Keelan Grady to enter the league. Reason why is because you can have Grady Dick as a jersey swap. I think that would be kind of interesting. I don't know if we've seen that before. But um yeah, that that those are those are all my those are all my wacky my wacky segments, brother. What you think? Is, is it do I get two wackies? Do I get two wackies? Like one wacky? Like what's up? Man, you got you got five wackies. Off two posts. I like it. Touchdown. Hey, I like that. My bro. <laughs> That's good. Go That's good. All right. That's the bet. That's the bet. Go Look, on. I want to hear what y'all got to say then, ladies and gentlemen. Please comment below if y'all thought the if y'all thought the uh, posts were funny, entertaining. They were stupid. I would love to hear from y'all. Did you have anything else you wanted to say? You dropping the mic right there? All right. He dropped the mic. He dropped the mic then. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, what we need you to do is please 
uh, like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. My name is Trey. This I'm Chris. We're the host of Get a Bucket. Hope you all are having a good one. Take care. Not know you guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I gotta go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know, we get Buddy.